everyone. So now we are going to see how to express and connect with our audience. Now that we know that we are confident, but through these techniques also we have to show our confidence. But then this is important for us to build that connect or express ourselves. Okay. Now this particular section is all about how to open a talk or how to open our speech. This is where most of us and most of the regular or seasoned speakers all also think and kind of falter at times because the start, the beginning is the, is the like we say the morning shows the day. Like when, how you begin a speech tells what is going to be the flow. You can attract your or interest your audience like in the previous lessons we have seen just by the opening statement as well. So now let's go and listen to and look at what kind of techniques we should be using if we want to attract our audience and connect and express ourselves. Okay, So this is what we are going to learn how to open a talk or how to start a conversation or for that matter how to open our or start our speech. At times we run out of words on how should we start. What should we say? The start itself if it fault if we falter here nobody will be interested in listening to us further. So how we start defines what is going to happen next. Okay, So let's now look at how should we open a conversation or talk or a speech. Now, the first thing that you should do is and here your, your intent is to connect with the audience first and then to express yourself. Okay, So connection building and expression go hand in hand. First thing that you should do is foresee what can happen. Okay, So you have to prepare yourselves with certain uh, lot of opening uh, lines or opening conversation assuming what can happen okay so you have to foresee the future or what will happen next that far sightedness is required and it will again come through practice you cannot do it at one go or at the first attempt of your speech but slowly and, and because since we are in the second level okay in, of public speaking by now you have already spoken in several occasions and now you want to know or want to develop that again mindset of foreseeing things. So foreseeing is the first rule. What can happen? What? So there is no uncertainty. Though there will be uncertainty, you never know. Life is all about uncertainties. But there are certain things that you already have in your hand with, through which you can control the situation. Okay. Now, um, Again, I'll come back to this uh, starting with a humorous tone or with a humorous story. Beware of opening with a so-called humorous story. Very important. If I, and in my previous sections also I said, if I say crack a joke or if I say something that is humorous according to me but not according to my audience, neither will you be able to build the connect nor express yourself and obviously the interest will get lost. So this humorous story or uh, cracking a joke or starting with a humorous statement is the last thing that you should try and you should only try this if you have that ability of tickling people's funny bones. So if you are someone who already knows how to you know uh, make people laugh then only you should do this. So this is the first caution that I have because Many uh, a times you must have heard people saying that start with a humorous story or start with a humorous line or start with a joke. It will for sure if you are not seasoned fall flat on your face. Please do not try to do that. Normally what happens and even if you do that, even if you do that, let the humor be on you and not on the audience sitting in front of you or any religion or any political inclination, your or any god or whatever religion as I have told you. You should not start with a speech or open your conversation with something that is going to have a false trigger on your audience. So even if you want to do this humorous, you want to play around this humorous thing, let that be on you. Like in, in when I want to start a speech and I want to connect with my audience plus express myself, and whenever you, how do you connect? You introduce and connect. 
So I'll say, hey everyone, my name is Chunku. Oh, by the way, the name and the surname, both are funny. Then they'll say, yeah, of course, Chunku is a funny name. And then I'll, I'll, I'll tell a story. So I'll, I'll tell you what else tools we can use. Then I tell a story that, you know what, once somebody had come to our home, so we used to live in a colony, a colonial uh, environment we had. So somebody had come to check if water is there in the tap or not. So this person knocked on the door and he's from the town office. So we used to have this town office thing in culture in Jamshedpur. If there is any problem in your house related to plumbing or you know anything related to your house problems, they will come and solve it. So they just wanted to check whether in our block, in the building that we lived in, and since we, we had occupied the ground floor, they had rung our bell, they wanted to know whether water is there in the tap or not. And this is a conversation in Hindi, okay, if you understand Hindi. So the conversation was, Pani hai. And we are, our surname is Pani. Then my mother unknowingly said, Nahi, office gay hai. So the man who had rung the bell was startled for a moment and they said, Sorry, madam, nal mein Pani hai. So when I share this story, people, I, I tickle their funny bones because it's on me, on my surname. Though don't, don't, I'm not demeaning myself, it's a funny incidence because my name sounds like water, Pani. It's actually pronounced as Pani, but people say it Pani. And then they feel that, okay, uh, water. So jab, when this person said ki Pani hai and my mother thought that it's about my dad and she said ni office gay hai, that was a funny thing. So I, st I talk, uh, crack a joke on myself and I say that my name is funny, you know. I don't know why this name was given to me, but I love my name. So I'm not, I'm not demeaning myself. I'm sharing something that can tickle their bones. So I, I can see at least a smile on their face. But let's, Im let's imagine you have cracked a joke and then you see people looking at you like this. And there's a silence in the room. What next? You have already, the start itself shows that you cannot. Now, you will have to do some wonders to bring them back to your lecture or your speech. So do not attempt towards cracking jokes or starting with a humorous line until and unless you, you are confident enough to grab your audience's attention and connect with them using your joke. But please never use any joke on your audience, on their appearance, on their beliefs, on any religion or any political affiliation that you have. Do not bring in these things and then you can crack your joke. Still, I would advise you not to use this, use this as your starting line. This is something that you should always avoid. Okay? I'm sorry or um, I would like to ask for pardon. Do not apologize for anything. Do not apologize. Let's say there were some technical hitches before you started your speech. Or let's say due to some reason your speech, you are not late, but your speech time got delayed. I'm so sorry for keeping you awaited. Do not start with this. I mean, you should apologize maybe, but not start with this line. You already put your audience off. They're not here to listen to your apologies unless something really grave and great has happened. You should never start with an apology. That's the last thing that you should do. Arouse curiosity in your audience. How do you use arouse curiosity? You can arouse curiosity. We will look in, we will take a deep dive into it, but then I'll give you some examples. You can arouse curiosity by giving data, like I had said earlier, that is also to interest your audience, talking about certain um, facts, giving uh, world data. So when you do all these things or sharing a concept which never existed or throwing a question to them, when you do all these things, you arouse curiosity and you will see that your audience, let's say they're sitting like this relaxed, they will come forward, okay, they will lean forward. That leaning forward is an indication that they are interested in you and that is how you build, connect with your audience. Um, this is a question that I've asked you because many people come and ask me, why not begin with a story? Yes, you can, but that story should have a relationship or should have a connection with whatever you are talking. If you tell a story which has no connection with your speech, then your audience, because your audience now has picked up certain words from your story and they would want certain connections in your speech with that story. If they don't find it, you have lost them. You have not been able to build your connect. You will not be able to express yourself. So you can only start with a story and we will see in the subsequent section with lots of examples how to use stories in your speech. The story could be humorous. The story could be emotional. The story could only state facts. The story could be factual, the story could be imaginative. Whatever your story is, and storytelling is an entire chapter that I have dedicated to, wherein I will talk in detail, but 
you sh you can begin a story uh, your speech with a story if you can help that connection so we will see that in the storytelling session and then you can decide whether you want to begin your speech or begin any conversation with a story or not okay ask a question so you can ask a question by giving a fact you can ask a question by um, giving a concept throwing a concept at them so asking a question is a very very good technique of first connecting with your audience okay and expressing yourself too so you can build that connect with a question the question could be about some um, world facts about something which is relevant in the current uh, scenario or situation like let's say it's, it's a period wherein we are seeing lot of corona cases and people are apprehensive about venturing out of their homes so you can ask some questions related to the current events and when you ask questions related to the current events automatically you first of course you grab their attention second you build that connect okay that person will now be more um, interested in hearing you out and will stick to you throughout the speech so asking a question and you can always ask a very simple question related to your topic do not anything that you open your um, speech with has to have mandatorily a relation with your speech anything that you have spoken or open your line with which has no connection with your subsequent uh, lines or the entire speech you have you will never be able to build they, they might be sitting and listening to you but then next time if you come up on the stage they would always close their ears because they they know that this person has not been able to connect with us uh, he does not know how, he or she does not know how to express himself or herself so always ask questions which are relevant and uh, whenever you ask a question let it be some data points that you are throwing at them some facts and figures do not do not quote do not tell ask a question related to something which is not factual it has to be factual this is something that you can do and this also forms a part of the storytelling session that we will do opening with a striking quotation okay so in our previous sections we saw no neil armstrong stepping on moon so you and your speech is related to let's say space or spaceship or achievement of human beings okay not only spaceship that entire sentence is all about achievement of human beings so uh, one step a small step of a man is a giant leap for mankind so anything small that you do do not think it's irrelevant it can become a giant leap for mankind meaning it can do wonders for humans for the society at large for the world at large so that is how you have to strike the conversation or you have to open your statement with a striking quotation okay the quotation always has to have relevance anything that you start with as i told you earlier also has to have relevance always try to do this last thing that you should be taking into consideration is do not make it too formal okay bring in some um not very casual but do not make it very very formal hello everyone i am here to talk about spaceships this is how you open your statement your audience is the connect itself is gone so do not make it very formal make it something which is not very casual also but in between neither casual nor very formal but something which can strike a conversation which can strike the chord and your audience would stick to you will connect with you and you will be able to express yourself okay so these were some of the techniques few of these things we are going to look in detail like beginning uh, beginning with a story and how to do storytelling and um, variations in your voice and all that we are going to look also in this section because it's all about connecting and expressing yourself so please keep these points in mind and work upon your starting statement okay now when you start a statement you might you might not have written it in your speech okay your introduction and all that might not have this starting uh, line it can have it may not have but this this is something that you can also depending on the situation change that is why i said foresee so always foresee what can happen how you can change your first opening line but caution is should have relevance to the entire speech that you're going to talk about or entire conversation that you're going to have with your audience so when you keep all all these things in mind you have already built the connect in subsequent sessions we will see now that you've built the connect you've expressed yourself what are the things you need to do you've opened the statement how do you close your speech okay so all these things storytelling uh, variations everything we are going to see in this in this particular lesson because it's about connecting and 
expressing yourself. So I'll see you on the other side. Keep watching.